Welcome, in this video I will show you how you can create maintenance plan in SQL Server 2012. You can create a maintenance plan using maintenance plan wizard or simply using design surface for creating maintenance plan. And uh, also you can create uh, a single server or multi-server maintenance plan. In this case I will show you how you can create a single server but it's also option to create multi-server maintenance plan if you have already multi-server environment uh, on, on your machine, on your, uh, in this case, visual server. I have, this is my master server and also I have uh, target server and to create multi-server maintenance plan and uh, multi-server environment you, you need one, at least one uh, or more target servers and one master server. And uh, in this video, I will show you how you can create a multi maintenance plan for multi server environment. But it's very easy. I showed how you can uh, transfer jobs uh, from one to another, from master to our uh, target server in one of my previous videos. Now we'll continue with our maintenance plan here. We'll create a new maintenance plan. Uh, it's, uh, I will show you a simple example. Uh, in this case, uh, in this example, I show you just uh, how uh, you can create with uh, with your uh, design surface. But uh, uh, mainly, we will talk about uh, creating maintenance pl plan using uh, Wizard. But it's it's very simple. I will show you a few steps. Just a few steps. It's uh, it's simply uh, you create a plan. In this case, we have a full set plan, and uh, we will add from toolbox. Uh, backup database task and simply edit our database uh, database task uh, backup task and uh, we'll choose for example all database and uh, you can see here this window uh, it's uh, same with the window which we get uh, doing the creating maintenance plan using wizard and it's very simple to use as you can see here you choose your map you choose create a subdirectory but more about this I will show you in simple example creating a maintenance plan using maintenance plan wizard at the end you, you get the same result in the both case but it's it, it could be easier using using a wizard but it's uh, it depends on you you know I will give the name for example and uh, of course run is a SQL Server agent service and uh, I suggest to always use separate schedules for each task. If you have, for example, in one maintenance plan, a full backup, differential backup, and transaction log backup, it's not very smart to use uh, in the same frequency transaction log and, and full backup. Okay. In this case, you can see we have uh, we have a select target server option since we have multi-server environment here uh, already created. And I could use uh, this is server two, and I could use to create a maintenance plan and transfer to uh, server three in this case. But uh, for this example, I will use my uh, local instance. So, and now uh, we have uh, oh, we could check one or more maintenance tasks. In this case, we'll use um, backup, full backup, and differential backup, and the trans transaction log backup. But you can use also check database integrity. It's simply check DB and uh, check integrity of your user and system table and indexes. It could be uh, very useful. Uh, again, the next one is shrink databases. I do not suggest uh, to use this one because it's uh, it creates a task that uh, that try to uh, to uh, reduce your size of your database selected databases. It could cause index fragmentation, can slow your queries on that indexes. I do not recommend it to use uh, this task. Or organize index. It's simply organize index in more efficient uh, search order. Uh, rebuild index. It's uh, recreated the multiple index on, on selected databases. Update statistic also. It uh, update statistic on selected databases. Clean up history. It's simply discarding old task history. Uh, it's uh, one statement uh, uh, which remove your uh, history information from SD MSDB. Uh, execute SQL Server Agent. It's simply execute job you already have uh, already prepared created in your SQL Server Agent. Uh, backup 
database full differential trans transaction logs we'll use this and uh, explain during the creating our maintenance plan and uh, the last one is maintenance cleanup task and uh, it's uh, you can specify the files you want to delete uh, as part of your maintenance plan for example some old transaction logs and we'll continue now with our creating our maintenance plan and you can see here first of all we create a, a backup database full and uh, you can see as I said before in the beginning of our videos uh, that uh, we have the same window either using uh, uh, design surface or visor uh, for creating maintenance plan in this case I will choose uh, all the databases and also I recommend to use this ignore database when uh, the state is not online since you will avoid some errors if you have some databases uh, which are not online and you want to create uh, backup for those databases then a uh, backup to disk okay and create uh, backup for uh, for every databases and create a subdirectory for each database uh, it's a very useful option and I recommend to use this I will use my backup map it's empty as you can see uh, backup DB and uh, why is important uh, why I recommend this because uh, if you have uh, many databases and uh, you want to create full uh, differential entries actually log backup uh, there there will be many backups files so it's uh, for for some organized reasons it's very important to have this uh, check on and uh, of course verify backup integrity uh, you can see here you can create uh, or schedule job already in in this uh, during the creating maintenance plan but i will pass this uh, but i will ca i can show you the window the window is very simple is the name of your job and of course uh, frequency when you like uh, it's weekly for example uh, and uh, daily frequency or, or you can set for example minutes if you like for transaction log or something like that but I will cancel this and just confirm and now we have differential backup oh, again all the databases ignore database where the state is not online and again we create subdirectory and choose our map our map is backup DB and verify next we have transaction log and uh, you can see here uh, this window show, shows us only those databases which uh, do not have simple recovery mode and uh, this is the explanation you have simple recovery mode it is not possible to create a transaction log backup so uh, help us to, to avoid some errors during the creating our maintenance plan it's okay again the same okay backup DB verify and next and uh, this is this is the end of our uh, maintenance plan wizard and uh, you can see here it's uh, uh, it's for report uh, one text file here you can f uh, you can create whatever you like but this is default path and uh, if you like you can include your uh, DBA in this case I have two operators here I have DBA and I also I have my master operator for my for my master server here but I will not use this uh, in this example it's simply you can use your DBA to inform you if uh, job, f uh, job fail or job succeed or something like that whatever you like and then we have uh, just a report for complete our wizard and complete our creation of uh, creating our uh, maintenance plan and uh, everything seems fine now we should have our jobs here it's uh, as you can see it's local jobs also I have some uh, multi server jobs here and it's very simple to use uh, and transfer your your local job to, to multi server job it's just simple choose the target I already explained this in one of my previous videos but so it's not a topic for this video but we will now create or execute our jobs first of all we'll execute our full backup job take some time and you can see here it's already created for all databases which we have all system databases and our uh, user database here it's uh, it's probably already create also our backup file as you can see here just a second and everything's 
succeed. Okay. Uh, okay, differential backup. We start our differential backup now. And you, you see that uh, already create our backup file for first database. And at the end, we will create our transaction log backup. And you will see now that we since we do not have all databases in, for example, full recovery mode, uh, you will see that uh, there is no uh, transaction log backup in every of those uh, subdirectories. So I could, I could show you here, for example, we have differential and full backup. Here we have uh, all three, three of them and MSDB just two. And for example, Adventure Work 2012 should have all three uh, backups. And at the end, I will show you how we can modify your, your backup here. You can see uh, at the beginning of this video, I show you how we can create using new maintenance plan, just uh, uh, design surface, and we get the same window as uh, we have here. And uh, under the, those uh, set plan one, two, or three, you have a uh, full backup, differential backup, and uh, transaction log backup. If we add it here, we have all those uh, settings we put uh, during the uh, maintenance plan wizard and during creation our maintenance plan and uh, that will be all in this video we talked about how you can create your maintenance plan uh, from SQL Server 2012 management studio and uh, how you can create using a wizard or using just a surface design is uh, very simple uh, and you can see here that also you have option to add scheduled job if you like uh, from from your maintenance plan here from uh, design surface and uh, that will be all and thank you for watching